while I was working on the land with the machete, like with the map, trying to figure out everything. Like there was just the here and now. And I sensed that working, working on the land, immersing ourselves in the local ecosystem, like having a concrete task to do with your hands. This um, is probably the shortest shortcut <laughs> into the present moment. Yesterday we already did a nice progress regarding the uh, the locations where we put everything. You want to show? Yeah. All right. Recap of yesterday. Um, yesterday was all about like fixing where everything is going on the downside, and we decided on the first five tent platforms. Like these three red ones are not um, fixed yet. We're doing that today, but the first one. Then the second one, that's the small bathroom we're starting with. The like bathroom will be put over there, yeah. just over there, just by the by the road. And the first one will be put there. Yeah, and then a lot after the first one, there's the fourth one, which is in between the bamboos. Um, I think facing the mountain, right? When yeah. I'm when I'm yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, then we have three, eight, and five. Those are the five that are fixed. Um, we put in the bamboo, like for orientation for today. We okay, plan yeah, to three. fix those three tents. That's our main priority. And um, in best case, we can already fix like where should the compost toilet go? Yeah. With the um, additional compost. Yeah. And and the sauna. And the sauna. <laughs> yeah. And maybe decide um, where the uh, main pathway yeah. um, goes to the river. Yeah. But main priority definitely the platform sauna and compost toilet. Sweet. It's definitely a challenge to put all the tents in nice places that are equally apart from each other so that there's a sense of privacy and at the same time they all want to have a nice view they want to be at a, at a like energetic powerful location and putting eight of them along with the toilet along with the bathroom and along with the sauna on this two, 2000 square meter of land is not easy but we're making good progress I think we Where's thought it? it's like here. It's here, huh? Yeah, it's, it's in here. front of you. This is the end of the road there, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, and we came up here. Yeah, yeah. We came up here when we went to the wilderness. Yeah. Without the knife. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That feels like a very, very nice place there. Yeah, it is. It's almost by the river. Effort in the jungle. Good training with all the aging plants and all the sting and like <laughs> crazy and all the ants, but nice. Yesterday I shared um, in our quest check in with our custodians from Poland, I shared that every time I'm on the land and I'm working on the land, I'm like fully in the present moment. It's just the here and now. There's no thinking about what will come in the future and then. Yesterday I did, I did a beautiful session with David here. We figured out where all the platforms one until five are. Today we did platform six until eight. And for these two and a half hours that we were here in the jungle, it was just like full presence, like nothing else. And then I got on the scooter and the second that I got on the scooter, it was like mind turned on. Okay, what time is it now? 
when does Leo need to do his nap? Do I have time to eat before? And later I have appointments. Do I need to prepare something for that? Like, my mind was in the future. And here, when I was working on the land, with the machete, like, with the map, trying to figure out everything, like, there was just the here and now. And I sense that working, working on the land, immersing ourselves in the local ecosystem, like having a concrete task to do with your hands, this um, is probably the the shortest shortcut into the present moment for me even shorter than sitting in meditation yeah so i love that i love that i love that as an antidote to to the mind work that i'm doing i love working with the mind as well i love doing the coachings i love doing the the mental work i love doing the like systemic design of the of this whole setting that we're creating i love all that and i love being with a machete in the jungle trying to figure out where the tents will be mm. That's full presence. It's more but the orange one is uh, for the possible sauna. Yeah. Sauna, yeah. Possible. We need to go there. We we haven't been there. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We've been there. Yeah. Time, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, now we ha we haven't oh, been there. We didn't. No, we didn't mark. Okay. No. Yeah, but but everything else we already marked. Yeah, definitely. And um, I think like it should be enough to place like the compost toilet on the map around here because yeah. we have to figure out mm -mm. how big is it and so on. Mm -mm. Uh, but we. Yeah. Just put one bird. Yeah, let, let's put maybe one bird. Yeah. Um, and for the sauna, I suggest you uh, the sauna no platform. No platform. No, no platform. Like, oh yeah, on yeah. the floor. Yeah, so yeah, I think, think so too. Think yeah, yeah no platform. You just focus you. on the eight platforms. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. But it makes sense to know where the sauna is to make sure that the platform is right and the difference and okay. uh, the yeah. yeah. Mm. So yeah, maybe, maybe we can go there. Yeah. Okay. Let's first maybe put yeah. in here a bird. Yeah. Toilet bird. Yeah, and here are <laughs> it looks so cool. <laughs> I'm serving the land. Bird there, bird there. There it is. Ah, it's over. Yeah, good, good. It. This looks like a proper village already. <laughs> it does, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's like, of course, like this is not this is not ready, but down there. Super mm. cool. And it's not like just 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 put in there um, in in our minds. Yeah. It's proven it's that it yeah, 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 has to be there. Um, yeah. I think that's super nice, and I even made the sauna now uh, circular. Mm. Oh, no, cool. it's circular because it's it's, it is. Dome. It is. It, it, I think it will yeah. be yeah, circular. Yeah. Super yeah. cool. Super cool. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Yeah, and I already put the new to do's in there. Mhm. Mm yeah. Nice man. Really nice. Oh, and here. Um, I don't know if you, you noticed, but um, Adi uh, told ah, me that like we definitely need to make yeah. it's way too steep. We have to yeah. make this yeah. these serpentines. Yeah. Um, so I just put them. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Somewhere, and they need that's electricity cool. for lighting as well. Of yeah, course. that's nice. Yeah. Cool. I, think oh. that I love how like uh, like two or three uh, tents are always connected with one pathway, yeah. so it feels like we have like three little little yeah. little like neighborhoods. One to three, like and then four, three. five, and then six, seven, eight, and then and the sauna. and <laughs> then the sauna. It's super cool. Yeah, yeah, and like um, bathroom and mm -hmm. uh, compost toilet, they do have um, their own uh, pathway, mm -hmm. so they don't you don't get yeah. disturbed when you're yeah there. And there's enough space. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful custodia application car. <laughs> we are, let me think, almost at full capacity. I think there's one spot left, but maybe not. One person is still like, okay, I don't know if I'm just coming with my by myself or with the family. So it feels like completion. Wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. Two months until our first group of custodians is arriving here on this sacred land. And when they are leaving on the 22nd of December, we're gonna have a little break for two weeks. And then the next cohort is coming in January and I couldn't be happier. It's like, it's how I always wanted to work. Like not be in like one Zoom call after the other, but be like, okay, people are coming to my home. I immerse them in a completely different setting. Like, and this brings forth the deepest transformation possible. And of course we do coaching work, we do workshop, we do like all sorts of things that are important and that are powerful. Um, and people are on their own quests and journeys and like, yeah. But it's, it feels like the perfect blend between personal life and, uh, and the business life and the work life it's like everything molds into each other perfectly for Leo too there are the children there are the families coming and yeah <laughs> so fucking grateful so fucking grateful now I gifted myself a soothing relaxing massage after this like really intense day at the land like my feet are destroyed Oh, I'm looking forward to that and then an early early night sleep today and tomorrow We'll continue on this path See you then guys. Thank you. Thank you for following along on this journey Bye